So we're learning a mimer that was said by the Rebbe in 1970 in Parshas Va'era. This mimer was said in Gimel Shvat, and it's associated with our Parsha. So it says in, in the Parsha, Hu Aaron Umeisha Shomar Hashem Lo Yitzius Bnei Yisrael Meretz Mitzrayim. This is this is the Aaron Umeisha. This is the leaders that Hashem spoke to them and told them to take the Jews out of Mitzrayim. They are the one that's speaking to Power, the king of Mitzrayim. Who Moshe Aaron? Who are they? Yeah, it's Moshe and Aaron. The, the question is known regarding this in Tel Chaim, meaning the Tel Chaim is the teachings of the Mital Rebbe, the second Lubavitch Rebbe, and Ora Tero, and then his successor, the Tzemach Tzedek, the third Lubavitch Rebbe. They asked the question on and, and this pasuk, Ma watam shibinyan itzos. Who wrote Or Torah? Or Torah is the same as Tzedek. Yeah. Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson, and, and the Rabbi was called after him. The Rabbi was a, a direct uh, descendant. Descendant of the same as Tzedek. And also the Alter Rabbi. Well, the Alter Rabbi is uh, it's same as Tzedek. He's a grandson. Is a grandson, but from Rav Rebbe's daughter. Okay, the Mitra mm-hmm. Rebbe, a son, a Mitra Rebbe was a son, and uh, Tzemach Tzedek was a grandson, but not from the Mitra Rebbe, rather from his... his uh, he studied that before, right? Yeah. Yeah. He studied yeah. this. Yeah. 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 No, you've been around, you, you, you know. It's not like you. <laughs> so, Tzemach Chaim is written by the Mitzvah Rebbe, and Or HaTorah is written by the Tzemach Tzedek. Ma'u HaTam, so they asked there a question, Ma'u HaTam, Shabinya Yitzos Bnei Yisrael Mitzrayim, when they took us out of Mitzrayim, regarding this concept, Nemo, who are in Omeisha? Why does it say, who are in Omeisha? Meaning that the Pasuk is putting Aaron before Moshe, regarding taking the Jews out of Mitzrayim. It says, who are in Omeisha? That's how the Maimah start, right? Wow, in Mesha, that Hashem told them to take the Jews out of Mitzrayim. And then regarding those who speak to power, it says, What does it say? Who Moshe Rawin? Now we're putting Moshe before Moshe Lifne Rawin. But really, it was the opposite. The opposite. Hashem who spoke, spoke to, to power? <laughs> and Hashem spoke to Moshe first. Meaning, Hashem told Moshe to take the Jews out of Mitzrayim. So it should have said, who Moshe Rauen, and then regarding uh, power, it's, it's a who Rauen Until you see this question here, do you think this? <laughs> someone look at it and say, hey, wait, it's backwards? You could have thought of it. You could have, right, yeah. Once you hear it, it's obvious. <laughs> Until you hear it. I, I, was oh, I should have bought that, you know. It was, it was only $10, you know. Now it's just like I, I broke my head on this whole thing about Moshe getting nervous with the, with the, the mm-hmm. mystery. I thought about this for a long time. Finally, I read the two, uh, two seekers in the, the blue book, and I got the idea. I said, should have been the opposite. was the one who spoke to the Jewish people. before before going out of Mitzrayim. And after going out of Mitzrayim, the Gamma Chalkar, Afilu Leloy Aaron, even without Aaron, Moshe Kibel Tera Misin on the soul of Nesol. Moshe is the one that received the Torah and, and in, in Sinai and gave it over to the Jewish people. So Moshe again is the is the main is the primary uh, guy. The Gam Benegia Litzos Bnei Yisrael in Mitzrayim. Similarly, when taking the Jews out of Mitzrayim. It was done through Moshe specifically. I was the Nasa of the Moshe Dafka Shanika Goel Rishon. He's called the Goel Rishon, the first Goel, and in the in the uh, Redeemer, the first Redeemer. Vehu Gam Goel Achron, and he will also be the final Redeemer. Vechen Asoyev Shel Itzias Mitzrayim Shu Yakias Yam. So the splitting of the sea was also done by Moshe Rabbeinu. Al the Moshe Dafka. It was done by Moshe. Moshe Kosu va'ato horim es matecho, as the Pesach says, Torah tells us Hashem, Hashem instructs Moshe Rabbeinu to raise his uh, staff, 
and the water will split. Mate Moshe Davka, specifically the staff of Moshe, not the staff of Aaron. Aaron did not have so much connection with the Exodus. And if so, when it comes to taking the Jews out of Mitzrayim, it should have said, who Moshe Aaron, not who Aaron or Moshe. Why are you mentioning Aaron before Moshe? <coughs> and when it comes to the, it's speaking to the, when the Torah describes the, the scene the Torah tells us that when uh, Moshe stand before power Moshe spoke and to, to Aaron and Aaron is the one that spoke to power but again it says the other way around regarding the speaking in front of, of power it was it says Moshe and Aaron. Ki Moshe akvad pe. Moshe had a, a speech impediment. Vim ken ba posu kema medabu mul power is because it's a chlema. Who Aaron Moshe? The posu should have said Aaron Moshe. How do you say in English, Rabbi? This, this problem with the speech that that Moshe had. Speech impediment. That's it. That's the word. Something that you it can say. It blocks it. You can say stutters. Stuttering is Stutter. is someone that that have a hard time oh, speaking. Yes. No, lisp is you're just saying the words a, a little bit off. Oh, yeah. It's like yeah, you're saying yeah. uh, thin instead of sin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thamach instead of thamach. No, it's, it's real, it's the, they, they don't say the, the S so much. No, but that's, that's, that's something else. This is, has, to do with, um, has to do with the accent. Right. And it, within Israel, is speaking Hebrew, they also have... A, Speech impediment. There's certain letters where they have a hard time saying, right. like saying uh, shalosh. Some people say thalosh. They can say uh, Arabs, for example, they can say uh, p. Oh. Every 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 uh, I can uh, detect uh, Arab speaking right away if he sp when he speaks Hebrew, unless they're very uh, trained. They're trained very well. But if not, they, they'll say instead of poteach. Uh, Poteach et yadecha, they'll say boteach. Well, that wouldn't be able to say the P. I guess they don't have so much P in there. So in in, in Hebrew, we don't have tha. Like in English, you have 3,303. We don't have that in, in Hebrew. So that's why it's, it's hard for Israelis to pick the tongue up like you guys are doing. Thunder. Yeah. <laughs> what else? It? What else? How do you say thunder? I say thunder because I learned to, to raise my tongue, but if, if you didn't learn it, you, okay, you can't do it. Three. <laughs> so the Israel will say three <laughs> without. <laughs> right. Well, you got the whole thing in Spanish. They don't say the J, they say Jose, and, and uh, you know, that was a big yeah. joke with, with uh, what's, what's my name, Jose? Name. Was, yeah. Yeah. Well, but every right. language has it. Right. Some, yeah. some they put emphasis on certain I mean, um, sounds that we that we don't, and right. that, that's what lisp. Right. Lisp is instead of saying s, say lisp. Yeah, you're not yeah. lisp. Yeah, so s is lisp. our problem, right? Because yeah, you're going, you, the they, tongue is going between your teeth instead of the, the tongue comes out. But that's not speech back. impediment. So speech impediment. The guy said, like uh, 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 like Biden yeah. will have the if he let, if he talks by himself. No, Biden just loses it. He he doesn't want to say. Like he gets into a. <laughs> that's trouble finishing a sentence. Yeah. What was I talking? What was I talking? What was I talking about? Yesterday I went to. You know, come on, man, you know. The potatoes. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm sure he's practicing his speech. He's never going to give it. It's not going to yeah, happen. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we, under, we understand the question. Similarly, it's all, it's all uh, opposite. When Hashem tells the Moshe to take the Jews out of its time, he spoke to Moshe, and then Aaron was involved. So why are you mentioning Aaron before Moshe? And when speaking to power, Aaron was the one to speak to power. So why is it that Moshe is mentioned first? So this question, as I said, mentioned by uh, in, in Torah and in Torah's time, 
the mitzvah Rebbe and the Yitzemach Tzedek. Al derech mashikos avrashi al pasuk ish imay v'tirau. Rashi writes, ish imay v'tirau. Kan hikdim aim leov. The Torah tells us in the Pashas Kedoshim that we have to uh, fear our mother and father. Kan hikdim aim leov. Over here, so we see the Pasuk is putting the mother before the father. Ish imoy v'aviv tero. Fishe golu lefanu v'shar ben yor v'sov yosem imoy. Why did they say that you should feel the mother before the father? It didn't say before, but it's mentioned in the Torah, the mother before. Why? Because it says, golu lefanu v'ashem, it's, it's revealed to him that uh, the son, a, a, a son in his nature, he feels the father more than the mother. Uvechoved and with honoring is the other way around. He honors his mother more than he honors his father. So vechoved ikdim of leim. So when it comes to kabeda, so vechoved simecho, honor your father and your mother is written. So whatever the weakness is, the Torah puts it, put an emphasis on it. So the emphasis on fearing is with imoy, with the mother, and the emphasis of honoring is with the father because you. So the Torah really speaks to our weaknesses and try to strengthen them. Shabin mechabed is imo yosem of a son would honor his mother more than his father. So we can use the same, the same analogy or the same explanation. Shemitzias mitzrayim, shemayshu aika. We're going out of mitzrayim. Moshe was the main thing. Moshe was the primary uh, leader. The Pasuk needed to put Aaron before Moshe to emphasize that Aaron also had a part in it. Because if you're not mentioning, they would think that he didn't have anything to do with it. And the, the Dibur of power, Aaron was speaking before power, Aaron was the main thing. So the Torah needed to emphasize Moshe, <laughs> that he also had a part in it. Oh, it's so perfect. <laughs> But they're not satisfied with this explanation. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise it's a very short paragraph. <laughs> I'm sure they didn't do it to fill up the, the page. You <coughs> have to say this, you have to say the creation of the world. Say <laughs> this Dibu is not sufficient. Why? It says, we didn't find that Yetzias Mitzrayim will be connected to Aaron, just like father, like honoring uh, and fearing father and mother. Why? We have an obligation to fear the mother as well. And we have an obligation to kibu v'chiyuv kibu gam be'av, and we have to honor. We have an obligation to honor the father as well. Vim kain, ein amuvim adot zachakosav laaktim aron lifnei moshe. But over here, when it comes to tzias mitzrayim and speaking to power, that's it's not shaykh. Well, what? Where's the chiyuv over here? When it comes to honoring and fearing. You have a chiyuv in the Torah, have an obligation yeah. in Torah. So why are you comparing these two things? It comes to kibud and honoring, uh, honoring uh, parents, and and fearing them. That's an obligation in Torah. And over here, what's the connection? What what's the, this whole thing that you're putting out before Moshe, Moshe before Aaron? Another thing is, so striking out this answer by saying that it's not completely relevant. The, the, the case that uh, you're bringing Kibu Davaim and fearing to uh, the, the situation of here with Moshe and Aaron. And then it says, Who Moshe Vaway? One thousand seven hundred and seven. And then it says, Who Moshe Vaway? One time it says, Who Aaron and Moshe. No, I learned that, that the myth of having a, a kiss is on, the, on the, the man, not on the woman. Correct. Because the woman actually wants to have kids. The man is not so natural, so therefore they put the mitzvah on the man. Okay. So it's similar to about this whole thing where we're going back and forth about Moshe Aaron, that about the strengthening, strengthening. No, but he struck it out. He struck it out. No, he says it's, it's an obligation. This is that 
to strengthen the weaknesses. Of right. Them, you know? All right. right okay. So, it says in, in Zoya there was a question. It says the word who, remember he asked about the word who, how do we put it? So he said the word who is Loshin Yochit. In Hebrew, if you say to somebody, I say to you, who halach, he went. Single person. He went, single person. Loshin Yochit. But you say Moshe now. Eh? Right. So <laughs> again, it's... it's uh, uh, they, right, they should say Hamalchu, right? No, right. when there's one. Let's see, what does it mean? Why is put, the Zohar asked this question. Who Loshin Yochiro Heim Loshin Rabim Mibale? Should have said him. Right? Loshin Rabim, that's the mm-hmm. plural. Kevem Shechakosu, and the Postuk afterwards says, Hey, Mamed Abim. They are the one that spoke to, to power. So your you answer is uh, a little bit. Because <laughs> afterwards it says, they are the, they are hey mom and dabrim. Ubi frat. She will post a good group of mudga, she may she may have a good group of It says, the postage is, is emphasizing that there are two different levels. Come move on, Masha Kosa, Rashi, Rashi writes, Yesh Makim Shemakdim. Rashi says, that some places you would see Moshe before Aaron, and some places you will see Aaron before Moshe. Why? To tell you that they are both have the same weight, the same importance, they are equal as one. We see that in the cases where they like uh, enumerate the daughters of Slav, Slavchad's daughters. They right. kept changing the order to right. show they were all... They were all very tzaddik, they were righteous women. So, Vekivan Shakos, Tzokhlaad Yishkul and Keachod, the Postuk want to emphasize that they are both, they are both, uh, uh, I guess, important are removing shem shtei dargis chalukas, but it says it was still it's self understood. There are two different levels. Vim kain, since we're dealing with two different levels, aval lemei mahem beloshon rabim. It should have said him. It should have said the word. They used the word him and not who. Well, what what they didn't put the point inside of the chivan? We said the kevan. Line twenty three. Line twenty three. Instead of the kevan. Why it's not Vechevan? I know it's not Chevan, it's Kevan, but they didn't put yeah, it Yeah, they in. didn't put I guess you can say it either way. Vechevan? But you, Kevan, Hebrew is Kevan, Chevan, you, maybe you can use Chevan. Well, also it can be a misprint. Yeah. Love in Zed, to, to, to understand that Yesh Da'aktim T'chil Abiru Ha'inyan Ba'avid Asod. So over here comes the, we have to preface. <laughs> we have to preface, Avid Asod. What is Avay the Sodo? The labor of men, with the service of Hashem, a person serves Hashem. It says everything in the Torah is instruction. It's a spiritual instruction. In our nefesh, to every single Jew. And how much more so when it comes to the Exodus going out of Mitzrayim, that every, it says we have to, why do we mention it's yes Mitzrayim? Because we have it in every generation and we have it, we're going out of personal Mitzrayim. Now the says, says, no, he said, the Agadah says a person has to see himself Kilu Yotzim in Mitzrayim. The Rebbe adds the word Hayyim, as if today you went out of Mitzrayim. I know she has no Yen, she has Yas Mitzrayim, but hold up. After the Rebbe's finish? Yeah, he added, he added. Wow. Added, his addition. Yeah. Actually, it's not addition, it's a revelation. Yeah, in Perik Mam Zayn and Tanya, he adds it that you. It's a concept of Hayyim. <coughs> I told you I've been. I, 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 like I had an, uh, it's, it's a, an attorney in New York. I once went to his house and I saw a, a, a painting on a picture on the wall, and it was a, a matzah, a picture of a matzah. So I asked him, "What is this?" He said, "I want to remember it's just time time every day." <laughs> so he, he put a matzah on the wall. <laughs> So, it was nice. 
So, you have the concept of going out of Mitzrayim spiritually in every generation, at any time, within every single person. And now, even in our time, we, we also have the Moshe and Aaron that are taking us out of Mitzrayim in every generation. So, if you have it says Mitzrayim every day, spiritually in, in every generation, so you also have Moshe and Aaron in every generation. Yes, Bechinas Moshe Varen, and Moshe is Bnei Yisrael. That's not Moshe Varen himself, but the Bechinah of Moshe Varen. Vehem Amedabrim, and they are the ones that speaking to power. They are speaking to our power. We see a lot of things. Power is the Olaf, is the stubbornness, and it's the different, uh, it's the different types of uh, glass uh, ceilings that we are putting in front of ourselves. Power is Olaf, is uh, the neck. The neck represents the stubbornness. <laughs> Stiff neck, right? We say stiff neck. Why is this a stiff neck and not stiff mind? Why the neck is stiff? I know some of you get a stiff neck. <laughs> oh, but why? It's a constriction. So constriction. It's constriction. So it's, it's, it's a negative and a positive. But they, in general, they use the goin, the, the, the neck, the throat. Say, the, the throat. They say, Meitza ha goin. This is because. Over here, it, it brings it, you have, it, whatever is in the mind has to come down to the heart, right? So, so sometimes people have a blockage between mind and heart. They don't connect right. the two. Right. The emotions are not in line with, the, with what they understand or the behavior which comes with the emotion. So this is why? Because of, the, of this, because of the constraints that are, are here. This, this, hairy, uh, this so area. Listen up. <laughs> listen up, yeah. Well, I told you, I'm living with a rabbi from Brazil that the, all the decisions that we make come from the brain. And, and at this part, not this part is, has to do with the decision making. To the neck. Yeah, That's okay. the reason we call it. Well, decisions come from the here. cerebellum, because the cortex is motor and sensory, and the cerebellum is. is, is Cerebella? Cerebellum is the name. Bellum, of it. okay. The that. cerebrum is the front part, and the cerebellum is the back part. So that's, that's when we take decisions, it's from here, mm -hmm. not from here. Right. Where's the medulla oblongata? <laughs> Something you just came up with. No, no, no. no, 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 no. no. That was 41 <laughs> years ago. I can remember that. I, that's, that's, that. that's, that's a good that's answer. More, that's more down, lower. That's lower, lower down. Lower down? Than the that's a lumbar. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> that's We're still talking brain. Okay. <laughs> David said here, the, the, this be, is where you're making the, 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 the decisions. Down here is the medulla avogadra is down. Like by the nape. Yeah, well, we, we, the, we have to put the filling, filling, yeah. yeah. Right, we, right, we're the not, we're the uh, cashier goes. Right, exactly. Okay. Okay. So, so much for my medical knowledge. I think I made up a Latin word like that, a phrase. <laughs> I thought that was a creative of you. <laughs> I'm not that creative, not that quickly, anyway. <laughs> so. <laughs> Anyhow, it says that you have the Bechina of Moshe and Aaron in, in every generation, and Vehem Amedabim, and they are the speakers. Bechina, the, the level? Uh, Bechina is the level, yeah. Bechina is Moshe So someone's on, I mean, someone's on that level. Someone has the, the, someone is the Mamshich, is the, it says that every generation, it said Mordechai Bedor, can Moshe Bedor. Mordechai in his generation was like Moshe in the, so there's this, the Zohar says it's Pashtusa de Moshe bechol Dor of Dor. There is an expansion or offshoots of Moshe Rabbeinu in every generation. So, what exactly offshoots of Moshe would mean that every Jew has a spark of Moshe Rabbeinu, but but there is someone who probably carries much more than a spark that he is. Flaming fire. Like a rabbi. Yeah. He's born. But the, 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 the rabbi says that there are, oh, there's Moshe now, and he does. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, that's he, says, he says it's his father in law. Yeah. Why right. is the rabbi didn't come along? Maybe that's why it's Russian. Sound like, yeah, I don't know. Because they didn't teach one guy to be like him. Both. Some say it's <laughs> because it's the last generation of exile, the seventh generation. After the seventh, the rabbi was the seventh. And after the seventh, the Mashiach. That's his, no, there's no. We nothing. don't need it. There's not another one. There's going to be Mashiach. That's it. Right. So he did from from the Admoras that came from the Alter Rebbe to the Rebbe, the seventh generation. Then 
There was one rabbi that decided there's a Deo Shmini, there's now we're going into the yeah, seventh. I, I, I think he got put an expectation. <laughs> <laughs> the guy he's, no, he's, he's still a good rabbi. He's, he's, he's a great rabbi, he's in Israel. But uh, he wrote a book, Deo Shmini, the, seventh, the eighth generation. <laughs> it didn't work out, it wasn't, uh, wasn't accepted. <laughs> no, <but> it's like, <coughs> the, like the Romans wanted to make a 10 day week. <laughs> You can try things, but it doesn't work. Yeah. So. What you're saying? You're saying? No, I was in a New York Times bestseller. Oh, right. She did not make it. I thought there was some guy in Brooklyn that was trying to pull, uh, pull that off. In the... I don't know. I heard a guy in Israel, that, uh, a rabbi in Israel, that was trying to explain. Well. Maybe he was. Uh, you know. Anyhow, so the fact is that no one, well, no one else was appointed. So I guess it's, uh, it shows that uh, there's no one, no one else. Yes, because what you are on with since they saw the Hema Medabrim, Shehem Shnei Suge, Shnei Fana Aveda. So there are two types of Aveda Aveda, Aveda Sashem of Mesh and Aveda Sashem of Awe. The Shesh Hiluk Besedra Aveda. The order is different. What does it mean? Shazel in Akdoma Sarah Mesh of its Yasmin Sam. So we're going out of Mitzrayim. The post says, Line is seven. There's, first of all, we're mentioning Aaron and then Moshe because the Pasuk says, Who Aaron and Moshe? And when we're speaking to power, the Pasuk says that Moshe, Moshe is first, even though Aaron was the one. And in Gimel explains this whole thing. What's the difference between Moshe and Aaron? In our, the way we, we serve Hashem. Ushamesha uinyana teru. Mesha is the is a concept of terror. In Mesha Kosu, it's written in the in the prophecy of Malachi, Zikhu Teras Mesha Avdi. Remember the terror that the prophet is is uh, crying out, is asking the Jewish people to remember the teaching of Mesha, the Teras Mesha. He calls the Teras Mesha, the Torah of Mesha. Mesha Avdi, my servant. Shah the Torah is called after Mesha. What is the Indian of Torah? Torah is, is rooted in the higher worlds and it's brought down to us. So it's Amshocha Melamai Lamata. Torah is, is, is uh, downbound, right? <laughs> downbound. <laughs> yeah, Torah is coming from above. That's a made up phrase. I love it. <laughs> downbound. <laughs> Is going upbound yeah, and down. Yeah, down, 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 down. 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 I make up. It's good. It's good. It's good. So. The Hebrew works better, I guess. Yeah. But it's Amshocha Milamailo That's the that's the inyan of Torah. Ve'ilo Aaron inyan ha'lo milamata lamal. But when it comes to Aaron, it's the other way around. It's elevating from below, going upward. Shazel, yeah, Shazel, That's what it says about Aaron. Baaloyz Chosaneros. He is now elevating. He's uplifting the candles. Sheshiva Saneros. Seven candles, corresponding to seven types of service. Em Shiva Suge V'Darke Avodah Shavnei Sot. Seven ways of. Of avoid the seven way of, of laboring or serving Hashem. The Alter Rebbe explains this concept in Likute Torah. Parshas Baal Yisro. Aaron Shenikra Shushvino de Matuniso. Aaron in the Zohar has a special name. Aaron in the Zohar is called the best man of the queen. Moshe is the best man of the king. Aaron is the best man of the queen. Shushvina is Shushvin is the best man. The Matunisa, Matunisa is the queen. What is Matunisa in the Zoya? What queen is it speaking about? What queen? It's referring to Neshomis Yisrael. Neshomis Yisrael, he calls it Matunisa. The, the source of Neshomis Yisrael. Yeah. So Aaron is the best man for Neshomis Yisrael. So the same way that a broom and, and bride, groom and bride, not boom. Go and buy, they need. <laughs> he will become, he will turn to. Eventually, he will turn into. The go and turn So, right away, some it takes a little time. They say the, the, the mouse came to the party, to the uh, engagement. 
of the lion. Of the lion. <laughs> he asked him, uh, why, uh, the lion said, what are you doing here? So I came to congratulate you for uh, you getting married. So what did he say to him? He said, who are you? What are you doing here? You don't belong here. I'm the king of the, the king of the forest. What are you doing here? So he said, I, I thought the same thing before I got married. <laughs> the mouse was also on. <laughs> so they have the groom and the bride. They need somebody to accompany them. They're embarrassed, a lot of people are coming. There's always a, yeah, aloha also, you have to have a livu, you have to escort them, the chosen and the, the kala. So uh, similarly, with when we're speaking about Neshamas soul, the souls of the Jewish people, and the source, in the Ein Sof, they don't have the power by themselves to stand there. They need the Shushvin, they need the best man. So Aaron is the one that accompanies Neshamas soul. Malo Isomi uplifts them, Milamata Lamalo, going from below, going upward. And this is associated with davening. So davening is more connected with our end than with Moshe. She birth and shala lo milamata lamal. Davening is also has the same uh, mode as going upward. Why? How do we? Because the whole idea of davening is 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 taken from Yaakov, and Yaakov Avinu it says sulo mutzav also that uh, he 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 is dreaming about the ladder. The ladder is also is on the ground, and roishem agiashman but its head. Is reaching the heaven. Oh, so the the Magia Magia Shomayim. Shomayim. By the Kohenim, which is the Kohenim. Right. Going it's true, yeah. The Matalimala, the The Korban also had the, the fire that came from heaven to consume the Korban. Yeah. But with uh, the candles, it was mainly. It says, Baloischo elevating was done by Aaron himself. The Kohen Gadol himself, it was done. Had to be by the high priest. Close and just Mitzrayim asked the Mishraou. Now, generally, going out of Mitzrayim was done through Moshe and Aaron together. Kinya and Itzias Mitzrayim, or Moshe Kosu. What is the Inyan of Itzias Mitzrayim? What is the concept of going out of Mitzrayim? It says, Anoichi Avaylekecho. When Hashem introduces Himself to the Jewish people in Mount Sinai, by when He gives them the Ten Commandments, how does He introduce Himself? He says, I'm Hashem, your God, that took you out of Mitzrayim. Which is the revelation of Anoichi. What is Anoichi? Anoichi is Hashem Himself. It's not a name. Anoichi is me. So, it, at the time of Matan Torah, there was a revelation of this level of Anoichi. The essence of Hashem. Right? He says, Anoichi, right afterwards, the Supposed says, Avaya. So, Chesidus tells us that Anoichi, the way it is nimshach through Avaya, the way it is drawn into Avaya. Anoichi, the highest level, but it comes down through Avaya. Anoichi, Avaya, and then it says, Aleikecho. So look how many... It's higher than... Yes. Because there's no name. Name is the Look how it comes down. It says, Anoichi, and then Hashem, Avaya, and then Aleikecho, and then Aleikim. You don't need your name. Rabbi told us. Yeah. Name is for other people, but uh, Hashem says, Anoichi means uh, my essence. Yeah. I am who I am. That's what Moshe says to our, when Moshe says to Hashem, well, what should I tell him? Who are you? So, Sam, I am who I am, right? Ei Asherei. Let's go to the next page. Hashem, why the king? Shuin Yanam Shocho Lemat. So there's a drawdown going into this world. That was the Indian of of Aser Sadibu, of Matan Torah. Shalze Meir Hashem Alekim. Hashem Alekim represents the the flow coming down into the world. Loshen Rabim and Alekim is is plural because when you say Alekim, it's like God forbid saying many. Right. Avai is singular. Anoich is singular, but Alekim is plural. Kemaimo. As it says, uh, it's written in regards to, uh, I think, the Midrash, Bereish Yisrabo, it says, when Hashem wanted to create the world, the Pasuk says over there, Na se'odom betzalmeinu kidnuseinu. Let us make men. So who is let us? Who is, who is, who is involved with it as well? 
who is in creation that Hashem says, let us make man. <laughs> yeah. So it says, cause of Aroitze, which obviously was Hashem, and he speaks about himself, uh, he, speak, he, he speaks about himself, Beloshan Rabim in plural, <laughs> but the Pasuk says, Aroitze litus ite. He says, anybody who wants to make the mistake and interpret Elohim as if there is many Rishuyas, as there is many domains, he go for it. Do the mistake. Yeah. That's, in, that's in the Rashi there. In general, there's always room to make mistakes. It's like, <coughs> I remember even about uh, the splitting of the sea, it could, someone explained that there was a very strong wind, like the Torah said, there was a strong wind, a like, northern wind. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and that happens all the time. It <laughs> doesn't it's happen all the time. Split. But sometimes to... there are tornadoes, sometimes there are uh, 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 right. and natural, land and natural phenomena that, that we can't really explain, but it happens. Cracking the sea or whatever yeah, it they, is. They, they do this all <laughs> My wife's grandmother used to say, good luck to you. Right. <laughs> but avoid salita is eat. Why did they make it such a way? So why did they make it such a way? Because if to leave room for those who want to make the mistake, right. they can make the mistake. Not to take away the bechira from them. Like they said about Purim, that we saved from uh, from Haman because we had uh, we had uh, Esther. It happened that Hashverosh loved Esther. She was beautiful, so he married Esther. And uh, she, since she was there, she was able to influence the situation. And that's how it was. Saying. And he had a bad dream, mm -hmm. so what? <laughs> <laughs> and Mordechai mm -hmm. happened to be written in the Chronicles. <laughs> Coincidence. A few things that came together. I want to lead this eater. You don't want to call it a miracle? Don't call it a miracle. You, can, you still have room to make a mistake. Okay. Okay. So what the the miracle is 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 not frequent. Everything's okay. okay. That's fine. You see the sun, born in the sun. For us, it's a frequency every day. So it's not a miracle. The Vizrach says that the, what is the difference between a miracle and, and nature? Right. Frequency. Right. Interesting. Yeah. So he writes, uh, so if someone wants to make a mistake, he can make a mistake. He says, like, Koyichacho vechayuscho. It says the, the commentators explains that when you said you have the word kill, kill. What does kill means? Kill is an expression of, of koyach, of power. The, the, we say elekecho, the meaning of it is that elekus, godliness, will be drawn down, that, she, that godliness should permeate the person, and that would be the, the driving force, that would be the power that you have, and it will be revealed. In order to reach the level of anechi, that actually will, have, will be exposed to the revelation of anechi, and it's through. Moshe and Aaron, through the best men, the, we have we need the helpers. The helpers are Moshe and Aaron. I know Shishnei Yanim Teru Tefila. We have the two concepts of Torah and Tefila. Torah is Moshe Rabbeinu and Tefila is Aaron. And the order is Shalachol Rosh Shnei Yanim Tefila. We usually start with davening. That's the the regular order. People start the day davening, not by Chabad, but but in regular uh, places. Uh, <laughs> what my wife would call normal places, after <laughs> a normal place. Yeah. <laughs> you have the tavening, which is elevation from below. It's also the tata arousal from below. It's also the leilo that eventually arouses the, the reciprocation from above, the arousal from above. Then you have the concept of Torah. Then you have the Torah, which is Amshacha, is a drawdown from above. Although there is a concept of a combination of connecting both Torah and Tefillah, like all the other Inyanim of Kedusha, 
And when it comes to matters of Kedusha, there is always a, a blending, a skalarus. The moment that there's something is, is not in, from, the, from the place of Kedusha, it can never blend with something else. It has so much ego, so much uh, prominence, that it doesn't go together with anything else. It doesn't blend. Chesed and Gevua don't come together. When it comes to Torah, Inyanim of Teila and Tefillah, they have to come together. Shabbat Torah, Eshno Gam Inyan. Tefillah in Torah, you have the concept of Tefillah. With with Fat Sefer Tilim, especially in Tilim, which is part of Torah, and has a lot of, it contains in it many chapters that are prayer. With Tefillah, Eshno Inyan Torah. In 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 prayer, you have the concept of Torah as well. And Psukim of Torah, Shabbat Tefillah, the 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 Psukim of Torah that are in davening and said Rami Shnoyer, so Abayis Shlifin Tefillah, like we say, Ezul Mekoyimon, we say the Korbanis. But nevertheless, in in when it comes to actual work, actual labor, lemato within the physical reality, where we have to Im- impact, create, going out of mitzayim. We do, we're dealing about two two different areas: the concept of Torah and the concept of prayer. The seder, the reference of all our sechus and tefillah, and the seder, the seder, the order needs to be the first davening and then and Torah. Kemaim or Abba Binyamin, the Gemara uh, uh, in Brachis brings Abba Binyamin, who said Shetet Filosi Smucho LeMitosim. He says that soon as he wakes up, he would daven. He would not be occupied with anything else. First, he, he said the meaning that davening is very close to his bed, meaning it's right after. Uh, Getting up, and then comes the learning. From that, going from shul to to a place of learning. It says that the learning of Torah that comes after davening is actually greater than than learning before davening. Learning after davening has a, a more uh, prominency or more greatness or superiority than learning. Uh, before davening. Okay. So we'll stop here and God willing and continue tomorrow. We'll it, continue. It's interesting that the Seder can provide is learning Hasidus first. Right. Because they said that preparation. because that's part of davening. Yeah. So, so we really, Hasidus is the davening. Like stretch, you know? Yeah, like you stretch for